Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. I am Michelle Nicole and I put makeup on my face and open subscription boxes and that's about it. So today, welcome to Declutter Numero Dos, number two, part two. Declutter part two. <clears throat> So, if you didn't see my last declutter, it was also kind of like a tour of just how a normal girl stores her shit in her bathroom. That's a normal collection. Because, I mean, I don't get sent PR or anything. I buy everything. And shit's expensive. So, I have quite a bit because I have a problem. But I also not... I don't have a whole room dedicated to it. I would if I could, but I don't. So today is going to, I'll link my other declutter up here, if I can remember. It was um, eyeshadow palettes and face palettes, like connected, like either just plain face palettes, eyeshadow palettes, or face and eye palettes combined, just palettes in general. And um, today is going to be foundations. And I was going to add something to it, like foundations and concealers, but... The next declutter I'm going to do, I'm going to do my primers, concealers, and powders. Because it's not like I have an overabundance, kind of, of those. So those will be good grouped together. For someone who does not wear foundation, like, ever, barely, ever, maybe, three times a year. That's exaggerating. Maybe, like, once to twice, maybe three times a month, if that. I have too many foundations and especially until I learn my skin type some of these haven't even been used like at all I've had them since I got back into makeup and I don't need them so right this is my little bucket full of foundations and oh, we are going to go through them and get rid of a shit ton my last declutter was like an hour long. This one won't be. At least I hope not. Okay, let me see. I'm getting a tripod in a couple days. So that's why my last declutter was like this and me holding up the palettes. But let me see if I can like show them kind of point of view. Okay. So, I'm just going to hold the camera. These are my son's bath toys. Just don't mind those. This is what a normal house looks like. Okay, so first of all, I know for a fact that I will be keeping these because I love those. This has foamy little chunks in it. And I don't want it to have those chunks in it. It sucks so bad that it has those chunks in it, but I might need it for reference, so that's like a pile. I just got this in Ipsy, and I love it. Where's the other one? This one I just recently tested in a trying new makeup, and I freaking love it. These two are pretty similar. This one is a newer one to me, and I'm still kind of trying it. So, as you can see, all the hydrating ones I will more likely be keeping. Let me grab these three. Okay, so these are the Makeup Revolution Fast Base. I have F4, F1 and F12, which was supposed to be for contouring. It's just a little bit light. It's a lot lighter than like the sticker. But I might need it for something one day, like to do someone else's makeup. F1 is the one I use to carve out my eyebrows, as you can tell, because it's disgusting. And like gross so I will be keeping that and F4 was like more of 
whoops, was more skin tone, my face shade. But I don't really like this for the face. It's pretty heavy. I think I'm going to get rid of that one. This is my ColourPop foundation stick, and this is in the shade Light 40 In. And I liked this when I first used it, but it's actually a little bit more drawing than I thought it was because my skin is just super dry. I'm going to hold on to it for now. This is from a dollar store video I did, and I actually really like this, but I don't need it. This hasn't even been on my face. It is open because I swatched it. This is in the shade Shell Beige. It's actually way too pink for me, but I got it because I remember everyone talking about this one and the Pro Glow, but this one was the one I heard everyone on YouTube talking about first and the girls on YouTube that were swearing they had dry skin were saying that this worked even for dry skin. This shit is matte. This shit is matte as fuck. They are crazy. That can go. Okay, real quick. These three are brand new. I got them for a dollar, as you can see. I got them all for a dollar, and they've never been used. Um... These are in case I find friends and can do other people's makeup. <laughs> I just really want to start building a kit. And since they were a dollar, I thought it was pretty good. So I'm going to keep those. I'm actually going to declutter the ColourPop stick. Yeah. Okay. This one... I am for sure keeping. This is the only foundation I will ever, ever love. I hope they're not discontinuing it. And I did not realize it had SPF in it, but it is one of the only ones that does not break me out. The CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir. I've heard Raw Beauty Christie, Allie Glines, everyone talking about this. So I got it and I like it. I've only used it like once. Same with the Flower Beauty Light Illusion. only used it once, but I still like it. The Pure 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie. I got this literally the day it launched. I literally think I was one of the first people to do a review on this. I don't know. I'm not sure, but I think I was. And people are just recently, like, really falling in love with it. This is the one that has, like, a 100 shades. And it has a pump, but it's also a concealer doe foot. And I haven't really tried it since that video. So I think I'm going to keep it and like test it out some more. Okay, I have three of the Wet n Wild Cushion Foundations. I have one in Nude Beige. They were on sale for like a, two bucks a while back. I think I'm going to keep Nude Beige and then the newest. No, I'm going to get rid of both of those. I really do like it. This one I have never even used. Let me see if I can get the lid off. I swatched it. It's in 115 Ivory, but as you can see, it's completely full. I never even used it because this is a matte foundation also. I know Jamie French loves it, and she's dry. The Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth I'm going to get rid of. I've only used it once. It's still completely full. Oh, there's a primer in here. Well, these two are together. These, This is the primer and this is the foundation. 
This is in Creamy Natural. I don't know if it's going to match me. I wanted to do a review. Yeah, that's so dark. And this isn't even the right one. I wanted the, um, not the Simply Ageless, but the other one that's like dewier. I don't know. I'm going to hold on to it for now. I absolutely love just for work days. It's a sample of the Dr. Jart Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment. It is so good. The CoverGirl Clean Matte. Never even used this. Never even opened it. This is in Buff Beige. I don't know why I have this. The Elf Flawless Finish Foundation. I never even tried this, but I know it's more matte, so I'm going to that on. The Joa Truly Yours. I only tried this once, and I don't remember what I think. I have mine in Natural Ivory. I'm going to hold on to that. The Revlon Color Stay for Normal to Dry in 200 Nude. I haven't even tried this. It's just swatched. I'm going to get rid of that one too. The L'Oreal True Match in Classic Ivory Into. Look at how full it is. It is legit like brand new. The only thing I did was swatch the color. This is like a Colt Classic. I'm going to get rid of this. And we have the Believe Beauty Foundation, which I know is a lot of people's holy grail. But it's only five bucks. Paige, Corinne, and Allie Glines. It is their like favorite foundation in the world. I am going to get rid of it though. The BH Cosmetics H or no Naturally Flawless Foundation. Okay, so this is still in the box because. When you order from BH, they give you sam a sample of this in this exact shade, which is olive, I'm pretty sure. No, this is in rosy beige. What? I could have swore I got the shade Olive. Hold, please. Oh, it's a pump. Look, I never even pumped it out. Um, I could have swore I got the shade Olive. Okay, anyway, when BH gives you, when you order from BH Cosmetics, they give you a sample packet of this foundation. And so I tried it, and this was like a year ago. And I absolutely loved the way it looked on my skin. So I went out to Ulta when it ended up going there, and I got it. And I could have swore I got the shade Olive. But this is rosy beige. That looks pretty pink. Like, see it right there? I'm going to hold on to it for now. Okay, last two. So, this is the Physician's Formula Organic Wear Skin Elixir with jojoba oil. I just recently did a video on this. And then this is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. This is the first high-end foundation I ever bought. And I absolutely loved it. I got a sample of it and I loved it. And then I was just thinking these two are like so, so similar. Like, I want to try them out real quick. 
sorry. They both have the little droppers. Okay, I'm going to do a video. That's the physician's formula, and that's tart. I'm going to do a video testing <gasps> these side by side. Chapter 5. We're going to be drawn on Chapter 5. Really? Yeah. Cool. I'm going to do a video testing these side by side because I really think they're super similar. I am going to, I'm actually going to get rid of this Wet n Wild cushion also. This was one of my favorite foundations, the very first one I ever wore. It's very light and natural and like amazing. And like, why do so many of the dewy foundations have SPF in them? SPF, SPF, like... I don't want SPF in my foundation. I think this one has SPF 18. I think I'm going to, I'm keeping these obviously, but I think I'm going to get rid of the No, I think that's all. I was thinking about getting rid of the Vitalist Healthy Elixir, but I might need that for something. I might end up getting rid of this. I don't know yet. Okay, no, I think that's it for now. So let me count them up real quick. Three, four, five. So 14 are not keeping. Okay, so 15 I'm keeping. One is for my eyebrow, so that's 16. One is for emergencies, so that's 17. And then three of them are for my kit, so that's 20. And then one is for reference because it has chunky balls in it, so that's 21. So it's a pretty even amount of keeping to getting rid of, which I'm happy with because I don't wear foundation. So I don't even need like all these. But I feel so much better about this. Like, so, so much better. I'm sorry if it's like super bright. The sun just decided to go. Whoa. Anyway, very, very happy about this. I'm going to try this primer. This Simply Ageless Anti-Aging Primer. What is the other? It's the one that Jessica Braun uses. It's another Simply Ageless one, I think think but it's not this one that is the hyaluronic complex with vitamin C I don't think it is anyway I could be completely wrong but I think there's another one that she uses that she mixes with her Misha BB cream and I really want to know which one that is because that's the one that I wanted. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'll figure it out. But yeah, that is it for today's declutter. So my next video will be trying a bunch of new makeup. Super excited about that. Before we go, I meant to show you this in the beginning. I got in my order today from Ulta and Morphe. I can't even hold off on showing until my trying new makeup video. So I'll save the best for last. But the first thing I got is the Cover FX Crystal Infused Elixir Mist. 
aquamarine plus hydrating. Infused with aquamarine, which is known for its restorative properties, this alcohol-free elixir mist is also enriched with marine hydrolyzed collagen, hyaluronic acids, vitamins E and C, and coconut water to help replenish moisture and nourish skin. Use before makeup to prime and throughout to hydrate and refresh makeup. This was $20. I did think it was going to be a lot bigger, but it's only 2 ounces, 60 milliliters. It's this very pretty powder pale blue. And it smells like vitamin C and herbally, like all mixed together. But everything about this makes me so happy. Oh, look. I don't want to waste it, but that feels nice. And then the piece de resistance. I don't know how to say that term, but uh, okay. This is the reason I got rid of my little palette that had Gold Rush cookie and Hula bronzer in it. The little three pan, and it was like Cheek Leaders Bronze Squad. I did deep pan the Gold Rush blush because I absolutely love it. But I gave away Cookie and Hula because they're in here. This is the brand new Cheek Stars Reunion Tours from Benefit and Morphe. Even though on here it doesn't have Morphe's name, I guess just the brushes that you could buy separately was with Morphe. This is just Benefit. I did not get the brushes because I didn't need them. This is so cute. This is this was $60, but I mean you get a lot in here and look how cute this packaging is. It says Georgia on the guitar, sugar bomb on the bass, cookie on the drums, Dallas on the tambourine, and hula on the bass. Bass bass. Look at how cute. And then the back. So comes with this little paper that is all like Arabic and that's it and then I did already swatch them because I couldn't control myself and there's this little arrow right here that says slide up and when you do it's kind of just a lookbook to show you how to do some looks and I'm very disappointed. I was really hoping it was going to smell like Gold Rush and stuff in that other palette. But it smells very, very perfumey. Like, it smells like my past as a dancer in the room getting ready before going out on stage. And all the girls spraying all the different perfumes. This is what it smells like. And it's bringing back horrible memories. <laughs> I hate the way it smells. I hate it so much. Dallas smells so strong. Okay, so look. Dallas is like beautiful. It's like a super light shimmery version of Hula. I will be swatching it. I've always wanted to see these brushes that come in the hula packaging that no one ever uses. It's because the bristles. The bristles are the same as the brushes that come in those little L'Oreal brushes, like those wiry, like weird brushes. But I will be doing swatches of this in um, the trying new makeup video, so stay tuned for that. I'm so excited. But yeah, I really, really hope you enjoyed this declutter and little sneak peek into the next video. If you enjoy declutters and you want to see more, give this video a thumbs up. And yeah, I really, really appreciate it. And I will see you in my next one. Bye! Oh, hi, I forgot to show you one other foundation that I have. 
I got this on QVC for $36. It comes with the full size concealer, the mini foundation, and the mini mascara. This is the Weekend Beauty Queen by Benefit. It has a full size boing cakeless concealer, which I have heard such good things about. A mini flawless brightening foundation, which I have also heard such good things about. And a mini roller lash which I really wanted to try again because I'll explain in the video where I try this why I really want to try it again but yeah just wanted to pop in here and say that I have one more foundation and I will be keeping that